with Fresh Start Friday. So whether you're hosting the party of the year or just a small little get-together with some friends, cheese platters are a quick, easy, and tasty way to keep your hungry guests happy. That's if you know how to put one together. The best cheese platters provide a variety of cheese choices with interesting pairings, all arranged in an artful display. And in today's Cheese 411, we've got the perfect person to give us all a fresh start to a party perfect cheese board. Please welcome nationally recognized cheese expert, the writer of Cheese Wisely in the Wall Street Journal, <laughs> and the author of The Art of the Cheese Plate, yeah. Tia Keenan. Tia, good Hi, to Tia. see you. Thank you. Okay, so Kim and I just, oh, we're huge cheese plate oh, people, so right? Yeah, we love right. making them. What makes a great cheese plate? What makes a great cheese plate is a variety of textures. So soft cheeses, mm -hmm. hard cheeses, then a variety of flavors, mild cheeses, stinky cheeses, mm, okay. uh, sharp cheeses. Mm -hmm. So really contrast. Okay. Cool. And then what about pairing things with the cheeses? How do you do that? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a wonderful app uh, from the Cheeses of Europe, which provides pairings, wine and beer pairings, oh, um, recipes. But mm -hmm. I like to pull out what already exists in the cheese, keep mm -hmm. it simple. So if I'm tasting a cheese and it's fruity, then adding some dried fruit or fresh fruit. Okay. If I'm tasting a cheese and it has a little bit of nuttiness, complementing okay. it with nuts. Okay, gotcha. All right, All right, that makes sense. So when you're buying cheese, because this happens, how much <laughs> do you buy per guest, right? I've got four people coming. How sure. do I know how big a piece to get? That's they such always, a good question. Yeah, they, I never do that at my house. If there's, giant. if there's two people or six people, I buy too much. Exactly. Because yeah. <laughs> you're always going to eat it anyway. But, you know, if you don't want you want to watch the budget, because sometimes it can get pricey. Sure. Right? So how do you do that? So if you're going to have three cheeses, then I would say an ounce to an ounce and a half per person. That's about mm. this, a piece the size of your finger. Okay. okay. Um, if you're having five cheeses, if you're having a little bit of a bigger selection, then probably about one ounce per person. Mm. Okay. All, All right. right. Okay, so how do you serve the cheese? As far as, like, do you need special things to serve them with? Or, do, you know, I always think of a cheese platter as, like, finger picking, but some yeah. people don't like that. Mm. I understand that. And some people, you know, don't <laughs> always wash their hands. So. <laughs> So what are some things we can put out for serving? Yeah, so I know that a lot of times for holidays or for birthdays, you'll get a cheese knife set, and sure. people don't always know what to do with them. So I brought some, actually. So this mm. knife is a soft cheese knife. So this is meant for cheeses that are really soft, and you can pick it you can pick mm. it up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you just smear it on your cracker. Right. And, you're, right. and you're good to oh, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's all right. That's all and right. All right. And then we have um, this, which is probably familiar to you, which is a cheese knife with the point on the side. So these mm -hmm. are for hard cheeses. You're meant to slice it, and then we'll do with something that's sliced already. And then right. you use that as pick a... Oh, okay. okay. Spear. I'll take, I'll take, oh. There you go. There you go. go. There that. you go. Right. And then this is another soft cheese knife meant for a cheese like this, which is a um, from a Jay Dauphinois. Mm. Um, and you do that. <laughs> you do that so that the soft cheese doesn't stick to the knife, so it's like cut oh, out, right. so that you're not dragging the cheese. So then when you cut it, you have a really beautiful interior. Very nice. Right. right. Mm. And yeah. people are always worried, you know, like. The cheese is really intimidating, right? Mm -hmm. Do I eat this? Do I not eat that? Do I, you know what I mean? The part. Yeah. So it, that can be something that people just have to get comfortable with. But one of my favorites is like a Parmesan. I just have the thing where you kind of point it and break it yeah. into sections, and that's really good. Yeah. So essentially, what you just did for us, Tia, is you cut the cheese right here in the set. <laughs> You yeah. realize that, right? I have to say that. I right? would apologize, but I'm not feeling bad about it. <laughs> All right, so you got some stuff for, t for us to taste. What did you bring yeah. here? So the first cheese is actually cheese with no pairing because I consider the pairing to be in the cheese. So okay. It's a fromage dauphinois. Mm -hmm. It's a triple creme, very creamy cow's milk cheese, okay. and it's um, it has fresh truffles in it. Okay. Oh, nice. So that's the pairing. The pairing's already in the cheese. All right. Dr. Steve, so I think we're you gonna... can have a piece of this one, too. I can? Yeah. Oh, Take okay. one. Thank you. And then, see, I'm sharing. Sharing is caring. She's so generous. See? There you go. You're my oh, that's really good. Yeah. And like then... the truffle hits it after. Uh-huh. You first get it, and then it's like all of a sudden, whoa, there's truffle in there. Yeah, mm. that's why you didn't want to add another mm. pairing onto that, because you really want to savor the cheese. Ooh. Oh, great. <laughs> what I don't know if I like that one. Oh. Oh. Not oh, everyone likes truffle. You don't, you don't even pair it. I love the truffle. Mm -hmm. It's the, um, 
I'm not a big brie fan. It's the texture. Yeah. It's just, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a texture person, but I love the truffle. I would put this on a piece of bread or a cracker, though, oh, for sure. Go. Absolutely. And then next we have mimolette, okay. which is a cow's milk cheese. This is a hard-aged cheese, mm -hmm. um, kind of nutty, which is why we're serving it with pecans. Okay. So I'm going to give you that and, and then ask you pecan, to, to grab a pecan. Grab a pecan. Okay. There you go. He's there going go. for the one closest to him. Mm -hmm. So we're just bringing out the natural nuttiness of the cheese with the pairing. Yeah. I like the color mm -hmm. of that cheese. Yeah. I think that when you put, like, look at what you just did, and that color just really mm -hmm. pops yeah, out. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really good nice. looking. This is great. And this is uh, really Abondance. Mm -hmm. It's an Alpine style cheese. Mm -hmm. Probably the most famous Alpine style would be like a Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are cheeses yep. made in the mountains. Um, and we're going to keep that really simple with a okay. honey pairing. Okay. So you so might want to dip. I would take your spoon and just drizzle okay. a little bit of honey mm. over it. Okay. You might want to have a spoon, napkin so, so you don't. Thank you. There so you know what I like? There's a cheese guy near me. And people are intimidated. He lets you sample them. Of course. And a yeah. lot of places don't let you, which is annoying because you're going to buy this thing for 20 bucks or whatever, right. and you don't know if you're going to like it. Yeah. So I think if you get to taste it, it takes the fear away, and all of a sudden you're like, I really oh like gosh, cheese. So you know? Yeah, and I think so good. A quality cheese shop will let you sample yeah. most cheeses. Yeah. And I tell oh, you guys, that's, that's like really local good. honey. If you can get local honey, mm. it's such a great pairing with cheese. Yeah. And wow. you know, the thing is. I always tell people with cheese, go for quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quality cheeses. If you're gonna if you're gonna eat cheese, right? Because sometimes cheese will wreck your diet. It has wrecked mine many, many, many times. <laughs> and I'm sure it will, many, many more. Um, but if you're gonna do it, do it go right. out and experiment. Buy yourself a really nice cheese and you'll really appreciate it. I mean, this is yeah. it's really delicious. Yeah. Artisanal cheese, cheese that's made from high quality milk by experienced Mm -hmm. Small producers so has a lot more nutritional value mm -hmm. than a processed cheese. Right. Uh, so that is do we have any more? Or we we have wiped it uh, out. two more? more. We have Epois, which okay. is a cow runny, slightly stinky mm -hmm. uh, cow's milk cheese. Dr. Steve can have the stinky cheese. Which I would dip. <laughs> I would dip some <laughs> apple in. Okay. That's so that, that apple is gonna. Um, answer to the dippability of okay. the cheese, but also give a little I bit like of sweetness. That word. She knows that I will eat it. Oh, that's <laughs> such a good <laughs> word. See, Kim knows that I will eat anything. You guys are getting new information. <laughs> yes. All that mm. stuff. Okay. And well, then I, the last I, cheese mm -hmm. is a blue cheese. No, I got that one. No. no. <laughs> Too stinky for you? Yeah. Tastes like my yes. sneakers. Yes! You need your sneakers? It tastes like my sneakers would taste. <laughs> All right, so we okay. have one more. We and this is more. interesting. I've never seen this. This is a blue cheese, yeah? yeah. So this is a blue cheese. It's Blue Dauvergne. It's a somewhat fruity blue cheese. And as you know, good high quality dark chocolate often has a fruity element to it and mm. I love dark chocolate with blue cheese. Mm. I've never done this yeah. before. This is so exciting. Dark chocolate mm. also has a lot of tannins like wine. Okay. Yeah. So it, it acts in a similar way gotcha. when you're eating it with okay. cheese. Okay. So go All ahead. Right. So, so let's see. Turn. My turn. Can I use this one? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to put... Go. Should I put it on a cracker or no? I would just... Just do it with the chocolate. Just do yeah. it with the chocolate. Yeah. So well, this is going to be fingers. interesting. That's okay. There she goes. Everybody's waiting. So Does it sound good? We yes. have a winner. We have a winner. All right. I love blue cheese, but the chocolate? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. This is the blue cheese and olives girl over here. All right, Tia, thanks so much. This is so Thank great. You. Thanks so much for coming in. Some great yeah. information. Thank yeah. you. That was great. And just, that was really great. And just a reminder that um, Cheese of Europe has a wonderful app with pairings yeah. and how to pronounce the names of the cheeses Absolutely. and what to drink with them. So where should they go? Where should our viewers go for more information? You can go to your app store. It's a free app. And you just download the app and you can look up all different cheeses and recipes and flavors and pairings and pronunciations wonderful. and all things European cheese. All right. Give it up one more time for our cheese expert, Tia Keenan. Thank you. We'll be right back right after this. This is great.